Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? When you give the third, how are you? Oh, well, we already talked about this. When you do something awkward, are you like me where for the next two days, you're like replaying <laughs> it in your mind, like, oh my God, and then I said that, and they looked at me like that. Oh, and I'll come up with like the most brilliant thing that I could have said. Yes. And I'm like, can I go knock on that person's door and be like, this is actually what I meant. How about though, <laughs> then you get to see that person another time, like uh, two weeks later, and then you're even more awkward, <laughs> and you don't fix it. Oh my word. All right, we've come up with three ways to dominate the awkwardness at a kid's birthday party because child birthday parties are oftentimes the most uncomfortable situations for grown-ups. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm a little socially awkward anyways, so then you throw me in a mix with people I don't know and it gets even weirder. <laughs> yeah. You either follow your kid around and ignore all the other parents, which is what I do pretty much, <laughs> or you try to make the small talk. And I feel like I always end up saying the things that I hate when people say to me, I hope it rains. Yeah, we really need it. So what does your husband do? Oh, I heard it's gonna start getting cold soon. Like nobody cares. <laughs> and in non-kid related events too, like if you're at your boyfriend's house for the holidays for the first time and you're exchanging gifts, and then you have to open the present that the family got you in front of everybody. Oh God, no. I have never been good at social gifts. I start sweating, I start doing this, because this is what I do when I'm uncomfortable, is I claw at myself. Well, I also feel uncomfortable being the gift giver because I start thinking, oh my gosh, was that the dumbest thing I've ever gotten that person? Are they gonna like it? What's the reaction gonna be? Am I gonna be embarrassed by the reaction? Like, Are we the most insecure humans on earth, or can you relate? Can you relate? <laughs> no, is no. everyone like this? Does everyone feel like they're socially awkward? All right, let's get to the fixes. Our number three fix is bring a younger child with you, whether that's a sibling, a cousin, some kid you just pick up off the street. It doesn't matter who it is. You need to have a smaller kid there so that you can run around and chase after them so that you don't have to stand around and chit chat. And the number two fix is, is if your child is safe and you're comfortable with them playing with the other children, then act like you brought some work with you. I'm working, working, working. <laughs> Leave me the f alone. <laughs> 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 but the number one way to fix the awkwardness is to just say, hey, I'm sorry, I'm awkward in this situation. Mm. And then the other parent is like, ah, oh, me too, right? <laughs> I don't know, or they'll be like, mm, bye. <laughs> but let's say you do want to kind of come out of your shell a little bit. Eh, all right. Here are some conversation starters that you guys can use. Hey, have you lived here long? <clears throat> Why do you have to go up? I don't know. <laughs> Did you see the governor's race news? <laughs> oh God, no, let's stay away from politics. Do they have any siblings? Although it's always awkward when people ask me that because I'm like, nope. And they're like, oh crap, <laughs> where do I go from here? <laughs> Another thing is, hey, have you ever been here before? This place is so cool. It's probably not though. It's probably a germ filled absolute hellhole. <laughs> where did you get your couch? Whoa, it's a little awkward. Well, not if you're like, well, yeah, maybe. I've really been looking for a couch. Where'd you get yours? <laughs> Even though I've never seen it, it could be horrible. <laughs> like, well, it's so random at a birthday party. Like, so random. Hey, nice to meet you. Where did you get your couch? That's why I was confused. All right, fine. Take that one out. If the holidays are coming up, you ask about holiday plans because it's a time suck. We want a time suck, right? We want a time so suck. Then you go. And then you follow up on whatever they just said. Oh, you're staying, you're hosting? That must be a lot of stress. Are you doing the turkey too, or is somebody kind enough to do that for you? Time suck. That's all we got, I'm pretty sure. We're, we're not good at that, but hopefully you can use some of those time sucks to really fill in the space between arrival and the greatest time when you can leave. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us. So wonderful talking to Bye. you. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and tell us about your awkward stories, please. We would love to know that there's a kinship there so we're not the only ones. And if we are the only ones, let's start therapy immediately. <laughs> <laughs>